to feel about is these two chapters. Back to back chapters, you love that, but as far as how to feel about them, not too great. Obviously not too great. Brand is just fodderized and they've already beaten three of the twelve. Alright? With just fairy tale, Blue Pegasus came in there and they had some help, but to beat three of the twelve with just just them. It's not terrible, but the Brandish thing was kind of an ass pull. Like, how do you fodderize someone that has that hacks of an ability, right? I mean, you had no choice but to do that, but that's, you know, that's poor writing. In my opinion, there's no way Brandish should have been reduced to having hay fever and just <sighs> disappointing, to say the least. Adjudicator, that was interesting because once he introduced his weaknesses, steam, the fire, immediately my thinking was, just switch, just switch who you're fighting. Like we've seen this before numerous times where someone comes and they have specific weaknesses for someone and you just switch and it works out. So then at the end when they did that, I was like, okay, well, kind of saw that coming. The comedy mixed in was a bit too much for me. I, I felt like this should have been more serious with what was going on. Like I would like to see some good fights. Like Ichia coming in there was hilarious because he had too many weaknesses. So you can distinguish one, two pinpoint. This guy was doing alchemy. It, it was cool. You know, I enjoyed that. The fact that they were able to destroy three of the 12 with just them though. I don't know. Maybe the, these are three of the weaker ones. I, I don't know what to say about that because fairy tale, they're at the brink and for them to do that. Come on, bro. I always enjoy seeing the Thunder God tribe and how much they respect Laxus and what they're willing to do for him and how they're willing to pull it out at the end. I mean, they just go above and beyond for that guy. Like, they really love that man. And Laxus, he's always there for them as usual, but they pull it off. When they saw lightning, and instantly they're like, oh my God, Laxus. But it's all each other was so disappointing. That was hilarious. I mean, it was a lot of comedy mixed in with this, but I wanted some more serious stuff. They're running through him right now, and I hope it doesn't get to a point where fairy tale alone beats these guys maybe these are the bottom three okay maybe these are the bottom three that they sent to annihilate them and i'm hoping that's the case because right now i'm not liking the way things are turning out i wanted to see maybe a death happen or someone really get pushed to the brink and beaten up that was Iza. I guess but they said wendy's coming in so she's gonna get healed up right away and uh, Eh, okay chapters. You like the fact that you got some back-to-back -back chapters, but they're okay based on what happened. Either way, Fairytale was able to pull it out in the end. Gray, they switched, you switched, switch, and you know, they did what I thought would happen anyway. So, it ended up working out. I'm excited for the next chapter. Like, this has been the best arc so far, regardless of what's going on. Even they said it that we captured one of them, and even though it was a fluke, it's still a capture. So, that, you know, it is what it is. But let me know what you thought about the chapters. Do you think that it was an ass pull with Grandish? Because I, I certainly think so. But other than that, it, it was enjoyable. Okay, but let me know what you think. Like it if you did, comment, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day, people.